hello today is sunday june 27th it's getting this up a little later than i normally do i um i was really tired today i really had such a good time yesterday but we have a couple birthdays today today is lenora wow wow w-a-u-g-h wow lenora you know you're gonna get a song happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear lenora happy birthday to you cha 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 it's also John, who is Lynn Hellman's son. Today's John's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear John. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. And Sue Colbeck, K-O-L-B-E-C-K. Sue's birth birthday also. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sue. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope all three of you have a great birthday. Once again, if anybody's birthday is coming up, remind me, let me know. Just put it in the comments below when your birthday is. Even if it's a little far away, let me know. If you're new to my channel and it's just passed, let me know and I'll sing you a belated happy birthday. It's quite windy. It's breezy. It's a hot breeze though. It's 83, I think it is. But with the humidity and everything, it's 92. But we're supposed to get more rain today. We're supposed to get rain all week. Uh, we're supposed to go to Frankenmuth on Friday, and it's supposed to rain then, too. But you know what? It was supposed to rain yesterday for my party, and it didn't rain. So it, it held off. That was nice. We had a really good time. I am super, 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 super tired today. Um, I didn't sleep really well last night, I think, because I was so wound up. It was just the excitement of the day, being with people that I haven't seen, like, my one friends, we haven't been together for our couple's dinner since December of 2019. Um, we were supposed to get together in February, but um, one of the couples was sick, and it turned out later we found out it was COVID, but at the time they weren't saying it was COVID, but that's what they ended up, that she had. that's what she had. So we didn't meet in February like we were supposed to. And um, we had met for dinner so late in December that we were going to just skip January and go the early part of February anyhow. So it was nice to see everybody and see family that I haven't seen in a while and uh, just reminisce. Um, Jim's one cousin, Will, was in the wedding. He didn't have a memory of it even. He was, he was one of the ushers and he didn't even have a memory of catching the garter and putting it down my friend's because my girlfriend that I worked with caught the, uh, the bouquet he had no memories of it and his uh wife that he has now said she's never seen him with hair <laughs> so she was looking at the pictures and she was making fun of him he's like in his family he's known for always correcting everybody on their memories so his three sisters had a, a good time teasing him saying you didn't remember being in something as significant as a wedding <laughs> so they went with that but um I had a really good time. I didn't overeat. I was just too busy hopping from table to table. I um, I did have too much, I had two cans of pop, which I haven't had pop in a long time. And so um, I think that that might've been one of the reasons because I drink Coca-Cola and I think I wasn't used to the caffeine. Usually it doesn't bother me, but uh, I think it kind of bothered me a little bit. And I did have um, a slice of cake, chocolate cake. So that chocolate, you know, once again, but um, I ate a normal portion of food. I had a uh, low point breakfast and I just had a really good time. I just built up on happiness with everybody being around me. So I, um, Jim and I watched some shows on TV and then Denise is going to come over a little bit later on. She wants to go in the pool. It's definitely warm enough to go in the pool. I don't know that I'm going to stay awake, but then that might shock me into being awake. <laughs> so that'll be good too. But I haven't been in the pool yet this year, and today is definitely a warm enough day to go in, even with the breeze. It's, uh, like I said, it's very windy, but that's because of the storms, because all the leaves are turned inwards, which from my Girl Scout days, I remember that means that there's a storm a coming, which we do have rain predicted for today. But uh, I'm really looking forward to Thursday, getting 100% on plan. I'm gonna ease my way into it this week, try to, um, be somewhat diligent. I do have a little bit of cake left over from yesterday. I, I do plan on having some cake. We did bring some of the chicken and potatoes home, so Jim and I are going to have that for dinner. But uh, but I I know I can do this. I really I, I really have complete faith in myself that I am going to do this. I'm going to get back on plan. I'm going to have a good July. I am going to show you my food every day. Um, 
what I'm eating. And I'm going to try some new recipes. I'm When I went to the Pampered Chef party the other day, I bought a new vegetable peeler because the one I have is kind of getting dull. And then I bought, they had a set of three of the um, silicone spatulas, which I like, with three different sizes. And so I bought a set of those. And then I was pretty much done. That's all I was going to buy. And then she demonstrated. <laughs> as soon as they tell you they're demonstrating something, then you got to really worry. But it was really cool because it was like the slicer that you could slice like potatoes and carrots and stuff. And it, like you can julienne the, pep the potatoes or you can make them into French fries or, you know, chunks and uh, potato chips. You know, you can get them thin enough for potato chips. She did a demonstration and she sucked me in. So I bought one of those because I think I'm going to start making my own French fries because she had one like a regular sized potato, which I know a potato is five points. And uh, she sliced up that potato. That was a lot of fries. It really was a lot of fries. And so I'm thinking I could make fries for Jim and I for, and just have like three points with the French fries and still have a good portion and just um, roast them in the oven. She did roast them in the oven. What she did was she sprayed a little bit of, um, well, she soaked them in water, first of all, for a little bit. I forget how long, maybe 15 or 20 minutes. She soaked them in some cold water and she took them out and dried them, pad, patted them dry. And then she sprayed them with um, some olive oil. And then she just seasoned them with um, some salt and pepper. And um, and then she roasted them in the oven at 425, I think for 40 minutes. Because then she made other stuff. She made a pizza. Oh, she made a really good pizza on top of the stove. It was delicious. It was, I, I she had a double grill pan that she cooked on top of the stove. And then she had like regular pizza dough that she had bought like the Pillsbury pizza dough and she put the dough on the grill pan and then she just grilled it on the stove and then turned it over grilled the other side and then she put a little bit of sauce not very much and then some um what do you call it what else did she put on there obviously some cheese but not a lot of cheese and then she uh, squeezed on some garlic on top of it and then she drizzled it in honey it was really good. It was really good. I don't know how many points it was. I didn't even count points. I didn't count points on Friday. But uh, it was it was good. It really was good. And then she made spinach in the microwave, which I've never made my spinach in the microwave. So I'm going to try that. I'll probably share that recipe with you one day when I do that. But uh, I'm really, I'm looking forward to it and realizing that I can achieve whatever I set my mind up to do and have faith in myself and my abilities and, and know that I'm strong enough and brave enough and all that good stuff to to step out of my comfort zone because I, I'm going to definitely step out of my comfort zone for, just for the month of July. And who's, who knows, maybe I'll like it so much I'll just put it into September, to, or well, September too, but August and September and uh, try to change up my eating a little bit. My body's just used to everything. It, it just knows. You know, like, oh, it's 1 o'clock, here come the berries. Oh, you know, it's 3 o'clock, she's going to have some cottage cheese. Yeah, I'm going to change it up a little bit and see if that works for me. But um, I'm going to start another book, you know, only because I'm going to start this book. I um, I started reading another book, a Harlan Colin book. And um, I don't know what I did with it. I can't find it anywhere. I... You know what? I bet you it's in my car now that I'm thinking about it because I went to an appointment the other day. Yeah, I bet you it's in my car. Well, anyway, I'm going to start this book anyhow. I can read more than one book at a time. I don't even know what this one's about. So it doesn't even tell us because it's a hard... See, I'm a snob. I'd like a, a soft-covered book like this, but not a paperback, which this is like a big paperback, but I don't like it. But... Uh, when Moonlight Night, veteran officers Dana Vaughn and Hollywood Nate Weiss get a call about a prowler who's been violently attacking women. Okay, my kind of book. It's kind of like a, um, uh, well, it is a crime book, but it's like uh, Criminal Minds. Kim over a girl on her phone and me, or myself. It's our favorite show. But anyway, that's about it for now. I'm just kind of like, I don't know if it was just the big let down but I don't feel the least bit let down because I really had a good time yesterday I was anticipating a really good time and I had a really good time but uh I'm just kind of today but eager to get started on Thursday I'm very eager to get started on Thursday
and I will do it. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit that like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. As always, stay safe, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.